How about a 3-1 victory tonight as we welcome you back. Matt Melzak, Rob Wersinski joins me as well as uh, the Walleye win this one 3-1, Rob, and we take a look at your Huntington Bank highlights of the game one more time from here at the Huntington Center. And, and we saw a much different Toledo Walleye team than even the one we saw on Wednesday morning. Yeah, right from the outset, uh, Toledo just were determined to take pucks to the net, get pucks on net, and then gets the ex extra man towards it for tips and rebounds. You see uh, Trevor there, a little unlucky in the first, could have had a goal there, uh, but there's the Tiverton opening the score scoring with just the laser beam rocket there. Yep, and then on the other side, Mac Carruth. They beat him late, but he came up with some good stops in this one. Yeah, he did. He held his ground and, uh, you know, some loops, loose pucks he was on. And there, there's the second goal there. Just a CNI puck got through the goaltender. Yep, you like that from Kyle Rogers. That was a big goal, making 2 nothing. And then in the third period, nearly 3 nothing on that chance by Lynch. And then the power play would cash in. Yeah, the power play. Good puck movement, finds the man open between the circles. Good goal there, and even Trevor did say, hey, you know, that one did roll between, roll off my stick a little funny, but he'll take the result. Yeah, well, he was robbed of one early in the game, which should have been a goal, and he comes up with that one there at the end. So you kind of get, uh, you know, that reward that you probably should have had one earlier, right? Yeah, and what a great bounce back game for Toledo, Matt. I mean, you saw it last night in Kalamazoo to tonight. You know, teams that you know, hey, you you put a, a bad result out of the out of your mind. You come back to your home barn and, and you take care of business. Yeah, so a nice win for Toledo tonight. Now they've got to finish out the weekend in Evansville, but you have to like this team when they play with energy, Rob. And it's better going on the road for that last game with the win under your belt, so you're going to have a good night's rest and uh, have a, a positive feeling heading into Evansville. Well, no question about it. Toledo will return to the home ice here. It'll be a little bit. November 17th on a Sunday evening, the Toledo Walleye will play host to the defending Kelly Cup champion, the Reading Royals will be in town for that one. Uh, great promotion surrounding that, Veterans Appreciation Day as well. So head to ToledoWalleye.com, get your tickets, come on down here and join us at our second sellout of the year here tonight for Star Wars Night. What a blast it has been. That's going to do it from here at the Huntington Center. My broadcast partner, Rob Wersinski, great job as always, including our entire crew from here at the Huntington Center. My name is Matt Melzak. Your final score for the Toledo Walleye tonight. They jump back into the win column with a Stanley Cup in the house. It was Toledo 3 and Kalamazoo 1.